I'm Ed Robeck, Director of Education and Outreach at the American Geosciences Institute. I'm presenting the share resource with three colleagues, all of whom will be saying a bit about the resource in a moment. They are Aida Awad, an education consultant and adjunct at AIU, Laura Hollister, who's a high school environmental science and geoscience educator, and Cheryl Manning, who's a science teacher as well. And I'll mention that both Aida and Cheryl are Einstein fellow alums. The resource that we're sharing addresses a facet of Earth Science Week, which is facilitated each October by AGI, along with many partners worldwide, which is addressed in another share presentation that you can also join. The problem that the materials address is that the geosciences are among some of the least diverse STEM professions. This has been a chronic issue that AGI has been working to address using several strategies. As a federation of professional societies, AGI works to address problems such as the unbalanced representation of women and minority populations in the geosciences. Today we'll be sharing some of the curriculum related materials that have been developed in conjunction with the If Then initiative, which is sponsored by the Lida Hill Philanthropies to encourage the diversification of the STEM professions. The materials that we're highlighting are curriculum connections related to the lives and work of four STEM professionals who were selected to be among more than 100 AAAS If Then STEM ambassadors, all of whom are women in STEM fields who represent a wide range of demographic backgrounds. The If Then initiative was started by the Lida Hill Philanthropies as a way of encouraging young women and all who might have trouble seeing themselves in current images of the STEM workforce to revise their image of who can be a STEM worker. These are intended to help middle and secondary students from all backgrounds see the potential of becoming part of the geoscience workforce. The materials are available on a website that is part of AGI's Earth Science Week resources. Hi, this is Aida Awad, and I want to speak to you about the first of the four ambassadors that are the focus of this project. The first ambassador is Hope Jaren. Hope Jaren is a geochemist and a geobiologist. She's also the author of the popular book, Lab Girl. On the web pages devoted to her work, you will find three sets of lessons. The first guides students in exploring Dr. Jaren's journey from a curious child to a world-renowned scientist. As they progress through the activities, students build a more mature understanding of what a scientist is and does within the context of their own lives. The next fascinating spotlight scientist is Jessica Esquivel. Jessica is a particle physicist at the Department of Energy's Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory. In the second of three lessons devoted to Dr. Esquivel's work, you'll find a series of activities that cut across all of the science disciplines as they steer students toward investigating the importance of data and precision in testing their ability to study tiny hidden things that they can't see. Next, my students often ask me, what does it take to become a climate expert? In the web pages devoted to Shaila Ragoff, a climate policy specialist, you will find the third of three sets of climate science related activities that encourage students to look closely at their own local environments and at other geographic regions where they might not expect to find evidence of climate change. Then to consider how a geoscience professional or a hobbyist or through civic engagement the student might play a role in the areas that geoscientists study. And finally, the web pages introduce Jasmine Sadler. Jasmine's an engineer and an entrepreneur. In the second of three lessons developed around Jasmine's work, students are engaged in challenges focusing on turning air into energy. In these challenges, students explore the powerful design thinking model before putting it into action as they design a wind turbine and consider prime sites for its installation. Well, at this point in our time together, I'd like to provide some insights into how the various lessons were developed as the Curriculum Connections team got to know these amazing If Then STEM ambassadors. I think this will provide some insights for you as you consider bringing these stories and the science to life with your students. Let me frame this with a question that you might pose to your students. 
when you think about what it might be like to do a certain type of job, what do you want to know? That's the very question we started with. Through each of the sets of lessons and each of the ambassadors, our team was focused on bringing their journey and science to life for each educator and student that joins in the experience. We hope that when you explore the web pages, you'll find that to be true. Here's an example of one of the activities that we'd like you to see. On Hope Jaren's webpage, we start out with an activity that's kind of famous. It's called the Draw a Scientist activity. It's a classic activity that we suggest you use to engage students in the question, what's it like to do that work? In the activity, students are asked to draw a scientist doing their work. Think about that for a minute. What would you draw if you were asked to draw a scientist doing their work? Would it be a more stereotypical vision of a scientist? Or perhaps a scientist working in the field or in a national accelerator lab surrounded by an international team of researchers? Whatever the picture, the Draw a Scientist activity opens the door for your students to enter a fascinating world as they explore the journeys and work of four amazing STEM professionals. Now I'd like to turn it over to Laura, who will tell you more. Laura. Thank you. In every interview, each scientist shared formative moments in their lives that shaped how they viewed science and how they viewed their own place in the scientific community. After reading the stories about each of the scientists, students will create a timeline that includes key moments in the life of the scientist, producing a visual pathway of the scientist's journey from student to STEM community member. Once they've completed the scientist's timeline, Students are invited to create a timeline of events in their own lives, including their interests and the key moments that may have nurtured or helped them develop their interests. Students are then asked to consider their future and include possible future endeavors tied to their interests, what new interests they may develop, and how STEM may play a role in their future. By reflecting on their own lives and connections to STEM, students' perceptions of their relationship to STEM may shift, allowing them to see themselves as scientists and connect with the value STEM provides in their lives. Here's Cheryl to share the next activity. Hi, this is Cheryl Manning. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about um, how students think about where scientists work. Thank you, Laura, for the introduction. Because each of these STEM professionals is an individual with a unique path and personal motivations. They see the world around them in their own way. Their individual perspectives drive their curiosity about the world and the universe beyond us. Depending upon the questions that the scientists ask, their work may have them gazing out into the universe through a telescope or looking down at tiny, tiny things through a microscope. Scientists seek answers to their questions in all kinds of places and environments. In this activity, students think about their own perceptions of scientists and where they work by examining images from all over the world. Students develop questions about each of the different images, consider the work that scientists could do in those locations, and how that work might affect the people who live in those places. Finally, students reflect on how their perceptions about scientists, the work that scientists do, and how their, think, their own thinking may have changed. Next, I'd like to turn it over to Ed. As I mentioned earlier, this website is part of AGI's broader set of resources built around Earth Science Week, the international celebration of the geosciences, which is also being discussed as part of the share and another presentation by Jeff Campfire. The larger If Then Initiative website, which was shown earlier, and especially the Ambassadors program pages, are also worthwhile resources to explore. We hope that you will use these resources and encourage your uh, colleagues to do so as well, especially the curriculum connections that we shared today, to help young people see themselves as potentially part of the STEM workforce in the future. Thank you for joining us today, and thank you for all you do for Earth Science Education.